What's up, guy? Madness today. I mean, if you're following GameStop, or even if you're not, it's just everywhere in the world right now. The stock almost hit $500, I believe, today, but then came to a crashing halt for no fault of their own, but because Robinhood announced that you can no longer buy it on their platform. And they announced this minutes before the opening bell when uh, people could actually purchase the stock price. So they manipulated the market and drove it into a frenzy. You can see here the stock price got up to 438 at this ticker here. And then within minutes, it dropped down all the way to $126 because of this announcement and the shock. And the reason uh, this could happen too is because it was before the market opened, which means you can have some crazy price fluctuations. There's less people that are actually trading. At that time, there's only a few brokerages that allow super early morning trading. Uh, and mainly it's those big giant hedge funds, the, you know, bad guys, quote unquote, that are, you know, robbing people blind. So that took shockwaves through the stock, bringing it all the way down. Uh, as that happened, number one thing on Twitter was Robinhood and then Congress members and representatives of the United States Senate started announcing this is unacceptable. AOC said, we now need to know more about Robinhood's app decision to block retail investors from purchasing stock while hedge funds are freely able to trade the stock as they see fit. That was instantly instantly <laughs> fully agree by Ted Cruz, who AOC and Ted Cruz are mortal enemies. They do not agree on anything whatsoever. Uh, within a few minutes, uh, you know, Donald Trump Jr. also agreed with this. Like, yes, this is, you know, screwed up. Uh, Cruz also later on says he wants to see more transparency, some answers. On the face of it, it seems to favor a handful of rich, influential players at the expense of ordinary citizens and ordinary traders. And then it's exactly what happened. We'll take a look at the press release over here that TD Ameritrade actually sent out. So TD Ameritrade also started to limit restricting these stocks. So we made these decisions at abundance of cautious on unprecedented market conditions and other facts. The big thing here is in the interest of mitigating risk for our company, our company. So they are scared to death about their company losing money and dying and facing repercussions that they are stopping this. This is the big one, our company. They're only looking out for themselves. And then they just toss in, you know, our clients just because it's PR. They have to say this bullshit. But instantly everyone, Democrats, Republicans came together and this stuff is being discussed in Congress and they are going to be talking about it very, very soon. Uh, Nancy Pelosi has announced that yes, they are going to oversee this and talk about this. Uh, I believe it's happening today uh, for me and for the president's where this goes is that we're not going to measure our progress by the stock market. Uh, you've got a booming stock market and you've got rising poverty. This is at the core of the problem that we are trying to solve, talking about inequality in the United States of America, not just in the near term, but lastingly. And so this was hailed by the retail investors, the everyday Joes, me and you, that we were actually, you know, robbing the rich. We were doing what Robin Hood does and what Robin Hood does best, you know, stealing from the rich and giving to the poor. We are distributing the wealth via the stock market, just like the, you know, hedge funds do day after day, 365 days a year. But when the retail investors figured out, hey, let's go, you know, go and buy GameStop because we like the stock, we like the stock, they got pissed off and they start losing their ass and then they go and spend billions and billions of dollars and try and manipulate everything possible and that doesn't work and so then they threaten or tell these brokerages like hey you're gonna die you're losing too much money you can't do this you, you gotta shut this down you gotta stop everything they tried didn't work before and now they tried this and look this didn't even stop it like it dropped it to 126 but if you look at it, it's at 217 right now. It's hovering right around the 217, 220, 220 it says currently here. It is still up double from what it was last week. It is still 
massively, insanely high. It is still probably going to be trending higher because we have Friday coming up, which Friday is a very volatile day in the stock market. And there's going to generally be a gamma squeeze coming. So this is insane. Insane, guys. Like, even this was not enough to stop GameStop. Where will it end? I don't know. There are lawsuits everywhere now. So we can take a look at here. If we go to Wall Street Bets, the place that originated this, there is... Uh, first thing, probably a bajillion upvotes right now. You know, lawsuits up the ass. Everyone is suing Robinhood for this because this is market manipulation, plain and simple. <laughs> Number one rule, no market manipulation. And this is not just the Reddit rules. This is the United States SEC government rules. You cannot manipulate things. And as a retail investor, we're not manipulating the stock. We're simply telling our friends and our neighbors, hey, we like GameStop. GameStop is cool. You should buy it. You can make money in GameStop. It, check it out. That's what we're telling people. Disclaimer, I own GameStop. I want the stock to go up. I think it's a good investment. Those are my thoughts, my opinions, and you can do with what you want with it. If you don't like it, don't buy it. If you want to check it out, check it out. Do what you want. But I'm not forcing anyone to buy GameStop. I'm just saying I personally think that GameStop is a good stock to have that will make you money because that's the whole purpose of the stock market is to buy something so you can eventually sell it for a profit and make money. That's what I think the stock is going to be because if you look at the history, in the last couple of weeks, the stock has done nothing but up, 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 up. Yes, history doesn't mean you're going to have the same thing happen over and over again, but it is a good judge of, uh, you know, what might happen in the future. You got to value things. You know, there's a maybe a 50% chance that the stock goes up. Maybe there's a 50% chance the stock goes down. You do some research and maybe it tilts up a little bit higher. Maybe it's like 60% because of all the facts and market research that you do. Or maybe it goes down. Maybe it's like a 30% that it goes, uh, goes up because when you did some research, you realize like, Hey, they actually are doing really poorly. They're, they're closing stores. They're not having good revenues. Like the company's not a good company. You, depending on your research, your percentage of what you think is going to happen goes up or goes down and you can form your own opinion and then you can put that into action if you want and buy the stock or not or you could go and sell the stock you could go and short the stock and think that hey i'm going to make some money by saying the stock is overvalued i'm going to short the stock which means i'm going to go borrow it from someone and sell it to you and then buy it back later and then you know make money this way so you have all these different options and no one's saying that you know, this one is right, this one is wrong. You make your own decisions on this. So overall, more people right now think that GameStop is worth more than $300 or $200 a share. And that's why the price has gone up so much. People like GameStop. People like the stock. People think that it's going to go up in value, which means that it's going up in value because more people think that than less people think that it's going to go down. Overall, there is just a ton and ton of support for this from literally everyone. Billionaires are behind this. Mark Cuban tweeted out stuff. Elon Musk has tweeted out stuff. Uh, a lot of people are now just like, wow. <laughs> just got a tip that Citadel reloaded their shorts before they told Robinhood to stop trading. Hmm. If this is true, Ken Griffin and Robinhood founders should be in jail. This is class warfare. <laughs> So you have all these different theories because uh, according to research that people have found that Citadel actually is, you know, a financial benefactor of Robin Hood, like market manipulation, 33,000 people have upvoted this for two hours on here. And then you have these guys, you retards are actually holding the line. Don't stop. Diamond hands. Keep holding the line. And the reason they want you to do that is because if you hold the line, it squeezes out all of the short sellers. So remember how I told you earlier, someone could go and be like, the stock is overvalued. It's not worth it. But if you try and sell it and then someone buys it and then holds and then you're like, oh, I can't, I, I, I can't borrow it anymore. There's nowhere out there to borrow. You have to borrow at a higher price and you got to pay it back. So you end up losing money. So the shorts are losing money. And that's what has been happening. And that's why the price has been going up like crazy is that the shorts have been losing their asses off every single day with interest payments. So overall, these are all my thoughts and opinions. You can do with what you want. Uh, the disclaimers are there. 
Hopefully you enjoyed this and this gives you a little bit more understanding of what's going on. This is a complete shit show, but the thing is the stock is still higher. The stock is still winning. The retail investors are still winning. And if we can get past Friday, if everyone can hold until you know, the markets close on Friday, the stock will probably be 300 or $350 uh, because there's just this thing called a gamma squeeze that will happen on Friday if everyone holds or if more people buy. Like there's just crazy shit that's going to happen. And it's just, it's technically there. You can, you can do research and you can see these things on Reddit and other websites. You don't have to go to Reddit if you think Reddit is just a shill and just trying to pump up the stock. You can go to CNBC. You can go to uh, like the Washington Post. You can read and research from these websites and you can type in gamma squeeze, short squeeze, and you can understand what these things are and how things are going. And you can see that, yeah, it, the writing's on the wall there. Like if, pe if enough people hold, this is going to go higher and higher and higher uh, after Friday nights. So you know, if you're thinking about selling, in my opinion, uh, you want to sell on Monday, not on Friday. You'd want to sell on Monday. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to sell some of my stock on Monday. Uh, I have no shame at admitting that. I'm going to sell a little bit. I'm not going to sell all of it. I'm going to sell by like maybe 10 to 20% of what I have. And I'm going to let the rest ride because I want to take some profits. I think that's a smart thing to do. I've already taken out some of, I took out my initial investment. So like I am completely free rolling, which means I have no money of my own on this trade anymore. I have got my initial investment, what I put in to start this trade, and I've already taken that out. And now everything else is just pure profit. So if I take any more money out of the stock market, it's pure profit. And that is probably the best, smartest way to do this trade is that once you doubled your money or tripled your money, you should start taking out some profits slowly but surely take out some profits take out your initial investment if you started with 500 bucks and you got to a thousand bucks take out like a hundred bucks each day and then once you get to 500 bucks and you've taken that out you're completely free rolling and anything that you make is pure profit and you cannot lose if you get greedy and just keep it all completely in there you could end up losing everything and lose you know all the money that you started with you don't want to lose all the money that you started with, especially if you're like some of the crazy people that have actually YOLO'd their house and put their house up for mortgage to buy GameStop stock. So don't be one of the crazy people. Make sure you get your initial money back and then, you know, free roll. That's my advice. Uh, again, take it or leave it. That's what I've done. And I'm completely happy. So even if the stock goes to zero, I have no regrets. I have made a small amount of money if the stock goes to zero. Uh, if the stock goes higher, I make a lot more, obviously. But I wish everyone good luck. I hopefully uh, will you know, be cheersing you guys at the end, and you guys can all go buy your Tesla cars and have you know great times and pay off all your debts and you know pay off the student loans and things like that and just live a better life. Like That's what this is. Hopefully, you guys can just live a better life after this. And yeah, the billionaires, they don't need it. Why do they need $10 billion? But I mean, me and you, we could use $20,000 for credit card debts. We could use $20,000 for student loans. Like we could use that money for food and, and like pets and animals, like the things that we have, our everyday expenses. We can use that money and we do use that money. But the billionaires, they don't use that money. They just stick it in the stock market and, you know, cheat, manipulate other people take the money from other people that are, you know, trying to make it big. It's just, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous, guys. Anyway, enough on this. Uh, thank you for watching. I will talk to you guys later. Happy <laughs> Thursday. I, it wasn't very happy for most people, but we are still cruising upwards, in my opinion, on GameStop, and I will see you guys later.